Hello and welcome to the third installment of our Chameleon 20 series. Today we're going to look at making some settings and adjustments to settings. And the first thing we're going to do is work with date and time. So the reason I choose to work with date and time settings is because it's a great way to learn about your device and it's pretty low risk. So for example, if you wanted to start with something like say Wi-Fi, um, that's kind of more of a, they're, you're more invested in whether it connects to Wi-Fi or not. You know, is it the wireless that's not working? Is it the password? Am I putting the password in wrong? And you, you, you know, you, you kind of get a little bit more of a nervous feeling. With date and time, it's not as high risk. Um, it doesn't feel as high risk anyway. And that's probably because there are so many other ways you can get the correct time. Like, you know, your watch, your phone, your smart device. I mean, you know, ask ask somebody who's sitting next to you. I mean, you know, lots of different choices. So um, it's a very low risk and you can take your time with learning the device and setting the time wrong is not gonna, you know, cause you any sort of stress as a general rule. So here's what we're gonna do. So I am focused right now um, on the main menu and it says editor and that tells me I'm at the top of the main menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate down to the date and time settings. In order to do that, there are like three different options. The first option is using those previous and next keys that we talked about for navigating the menus. The second choice is using dots four and a space bar to move forward within the menu and a dots one and a space bar to move backwards an item in a menu. The third option, and probably the one that is the most logical once you use the device, is to press the first letter of the item you're hoping to navigate to. In our case, it's date and time. So we're going to press a letter D, and what do you know, here we are, date and time. In order to enter the date and time setting area, we can either press the enter key or we can press a cursor routing key that's above that uh, date and time um, label or writing area or, or whatever in the on the display. So we're going to do that. Um, now it says it's displaying the time that I last entered and this time is wrong. So um, I'm going to go ahead and to change it, I need to open something called a context menu. And you might be familiar with what those are because a lot of times those show up by right clicking on a um, on a device or on a computer or by pressing the applications key on the computer to bring up a context menu or a long press a lot of times on a tablet will do it. Lots of different ways to get a context menu um, to you. And this is the way you do it on the chameleon. So space with the letter M for menu. And here we are and it says change, change day, uh, time. So in order to enter that, obviously I'm gonna just press the, the cursor router key above it. And now it's going to tell me enter hour. Now I'm gonna spend a little time introducing you to a part of this um, display that I haven't, that we haven't had an option to look at before. So what we're looking at here is enter hour and then it has what is supposed to be like an open bracket it's dots one, two, three, four, seven, and eight. So it looks like sort of an open bracket or a and sign with like an extra row in it. And then it has the, the hour that I last entered and then it has a little space. And then it has the closing bracket, which is one, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, it just looks like a Y with like an extra maybe row added in the middle. So what I normally do is, I, th I think it's important to kind of start clean here. So I'm going to press the cursor routing button above where I want my, my cursor to be. So in this case, it's gonna be above that closing bracket. And I'm going to hit backspace. Okay, until, I, until it you know, gets mad at me. And now I'm looking, I'm like, oh wait, no, we still have something there. So um, sometimes you have to do it again. Um, because you don't always hit exactly where you want that cursor. So I'm going to backspace again. Perfect. And this is exactly how we want it. What we want it to look like before we enter our time. And it's, it might be kind of hard for you visually to see if those of you who have vision, but I'm going to describe it. If you have that open bracket 
and then you have just a space that just has dot seven and eight to indicate that's your insertion point. And then you have that closing bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place my cursor just in, just in case that it should be there, but I'm just gonna press that cursor routing key that's above that, that um, dot seven and eight, that little bracket hyphen there. And I'm gonna type number sign, it's 12. So one, two, and there we, there we go, I'm checking it and it's there. And it after that one, two will be that, um, it'll be that um, hyphen will remain there right before that closing bracket. So to move to the next area, I'm going to press the inner right thumb key. And if there is no mistake or the date is, the hour, I'm sorry, is entered correctly, it'll allow you to enter the minute. And we're in a similar spot. So again, we have that funky open bracket. We have the uh, last minute that was entered. And you know, we're just gonna just click above that um, closing bracket. And it's you wanna, really wanna kind of get to the one before the closing bracket, but it's kind of a hit or miss, at least it is for me. Um, so then I'm just gonna do that and then hit my backspace. And yep. Sure, hit or miss because I didn't get it all. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, and now I have it. So now I have that magic open bracket, hyphen, close bracket. So I'm looking at my watch now, it's 12.07. So I'm going to do a number sign, zero, seven, and then my right thumb key to go to the next option. Now it's um, asking me whether this is AM or PM. Um, this is PM. It says AM now, and I need to change that. In order to change it, and I know people are gonna be tempted to use the space bar, or do not use the space bar. That in a lot of other items, that, that is how you would change it. It's not how you do it on the chameleon. On the chameleon, you press the dot eight or the enter key. So enter, and now it says PM. To confirm that change, I'm going to use that right thumb key. And it says here, it says okay. And yep, this is how I want it. So I'm gonna hit a cursor router above that, okay. Okay, so now it says we're back to change time. We did that already. So we're going to advance to change date with that right thumb and then the cursor routing key above it. Okay, now it says enter year. So it says 2001 and that's wrong. We are not definitely in 2001. So we're going to go ahead and take that cursor router and put it in the location that we talked about before and get rid of everything between those brackets. And we're going to type number sign. Oops, I don't think I'm in the right spot. Yep, between the brackets, there we go. Number sign, two, zero, two, one. Okay, and that's done. So we're going to hit that next thumb key. All right, now it says enter month. Um, and it says, yeah, this month is correct. It has number sign one. So yay, we got that because it is January. Okay, and now it says enter day. And I'm going to look here, open bracket, number sign 21. So yes, it is the 21st. So that is correct. So I'm going to do my um, right thumb key to advance. And okay, I'm gonna click the cursor routing key above the okay button. There are a couple of more menus within date and time. And we're gonna go forward to get away from change date. And here it says um, daylight savings time, um, and it's it's off, and that's how we want it. However, here's something I want to point out to you: if for some reason the daylight savings time was on when it wasn't supposed to be, or off when it was supposed to be on, whatever happens, if you change this setting, what's going to happen is your time that you entered manually will change. And what happens with that means like if I entered, like I just entered that it was 12 something. 
uh, daylight savings time is off. Well, if I turned it on again, it would change my time to one something. So it's automatically gonna adjust that time. So uh, just so you know that that's what's gonna happen if you, if you touch that or if you change it. So we're just gonna go past it. So I'm just gonna press that right inner thumb. And here we go, it says, oh, time format. So do I want a 12 hour format or a 24 hour format? Well, I, I really, most people want the 12 hour. Some people are, are 24, but not everybody. But I like the 12 hour format. So I'm gonna leave it there because that's what it says it is. So I'm gonna press that right thumb key again. And it's now it's asking me about the date format. There are several options for the date format. Um, I usually just leave it alone. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit that right thumb and then it says back. Um, I can choose to hit this back key and go back out of this menu or I can hit space with the letter E to go backwards. I'm just gonna hit an uh, router key on this back and now we are in our date and time area and it's displayed 12, 11, and you probably can't see it, especially since my, my thumb is, is right there, but the seconds tick, which is kind of cool. Um, and then, it, then of course it says PM. So that's your date and time. In this next section, we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. This is gonna be just a little bit more challenging and a little more high stakes like we talked about earlier, but it should work just fine. Right now, I'm at the top of the main menu because I went there really quick. And we're going to go to the settings um, in the main menu by pressing S. And then we're going to press the cursor router key to enter it. And we're gonna press W to go to Wi-Fi. So now we're on Wi-Fi settings. So it says Wi-Fi now, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit a cursor router key there. Now it, it gives me some choices. It says Wi-Fi is on, so I'm gonna keep going past that. Um, then I'm going to, actually I knocked myself back into the main menu, so it's gonna really quick get back into where I was. Wi-Fi, yep. Okay, now it says the Wi-Fi is on. So instead of hitting the home button by accident, we're gonna hit like the next key. And it's gonna ask me um, if I want to uh, check the status. And I'm not going to, I'm just gonna keep going. New connection. So this is what we want. So we're gonna click a, um, uh, press the cursor routing key and now it says scan for connections. So we want to do that. Press the cursor routing key there. And it's gonna, it's saying it's loading. Okay, now I need to find my connection in this list. So I know what mine, yep. Okay, is this it? Um, yeah, I believe it is, but I'm gonna check the next one down just to make sure. I'm using the, my next key to find those. So it does look like that's my new connection, or my, my correct connection. So I'm going to press a cursor routing key. And now it's going to ask me for the password. And it's gonna have the, that same um, area, that open bracket and close bracket with that little hyphen underscore in there. So I'm gonna stick my cursor uh, there. And I'm just going to enter my password really quickly, which thankfully is not all that complicated. Let's see, now I'm gonna to try to do it a couple of different ways. I'm gonna use the method I used before. So I'm gonna do number sign. Oops, I'm gonna go back because that was not the number sign. Try again. And then I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, and then uh, check to make sure that it's correct. And it's loading, loading, loading. Okay, new connection. Okay, so we did it, it worked. So I'm going to, just to make sure that it worked, it says new connection here, it popped me back there. 
So I'm going to go up to status. Back here it says Wi-Fi on. And now it says um, status. And I'm going to go ahead and hit a cursor router key. And it says SSID. And it's telling me what um, which network I'm connected with. So it's giving me, and this is the network that I that I selected. I'm going to use my inner thumb keys to navigate a little bit, see if it, it gives me anything else. Um, signal, oh, st strength. It just didn't look right. Signal strength did not look quite right. It looked a little bit weird there. And it gives me my signal strength, which is good. Um, oh, it's actually, it says it's excellent. I lied. So so it's telling me all about my about the connection that I'm in. So I'm going to hit a space E to get out of there. Um, here's so just to keep in mind. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi, which is really great. But just to keep in mind, remember how um, all of mine, uh, my password for my Wi-Fi, by the way, are all numbers. There are no letters in there at all. If I had special symbols, I might want to look that up. It might take more than one attempt. So make sure that you uh, give yourself plenty of time to connect to your Wi-Fi network if you're going to be using it. It's really important to take that time and just be careful and patient and deliberate. There are a lot of networks that have passwords that are like have ampersands and percent signs and heaven knows what all else. So you may need to check what those the symbols are, whether you need to put, enter them in literary, whether you need to enter them in computer braille, definitely check the manual on that one just to be absolutely sure that you have it. So this concludes our third session, which talked about our Wi-Fi and our date and time. I hope this helps you to set up your device. And next time, we'll probably end up looking at the settings and setting up some individual user settings.